When Carl Benz received the patent for the first modern car, his wife Bertha wasn't legally allowed to be listed as the co-inventor, even though she engineered multiple improvements and funded it with her own dowry. 137 years later, reporter Diane Mocha looks at how a focus on women is driving change in the auto industry. Since the advent of the internal combustion engine, the auto industry has steered towards men, their designs, their preferences, their dollars. But they're only half the population, and they're not even the ones with the majority of the buying power. Cars.com says women buy 62% of all new cars sold in the U.S. and influence more than 85% of all car purchases. So car makers are revving up new ways to attract them, from ads appealing to soccer moms and female executives to the locations and features of charging stations for electric vehicles popping up across the country. It's not only the penetration, it's important, but also expanding into retail communities, you know, where it's Walmart, Target, make it safer for women, for example, so with good lighting. But what about all those cars that look so angry? It's been a design trend in recent years for a car's grill to mimic a dominant and aggressive face because the automakers believe drivers want their ride to express strength and power. And who runs those car makers? Yeah, mostly men. Women are only about 25% of the auto manufacturing workforce. But here at Business First AM, Angela Miles runs the show. And she told Volkswagen CEO Pablo Disi that the mean look of some vehicles may be repelling the ladies. Throughout my career, I have done customer clinics in many countries. And I'll take the comments from women as... Uh, quite smart and similar to your comments, they perceive things that, you know, sometimes are overlooked for other consumers. And we call this front uh, the smiley face, right? So you can see they're not angry as you mentioned. So they put a smile on your face. And, um, uh, you know, we as a company, we always do customer clinics and we're gonna be aligned with the consumers. As car makers become more aligned with female consumers, they recognize reliability, safety, and affordability are more important to the majority of their buyers than the ruggedness of horsepower and the technology behind a car's high-speed handling. The shift is also shaking up traditional workplace roles, with more women engineers, vehicle designers, and sales associates. Speeding towards a future where the stereotypical boys club of a car dealership could could become as obsolete as the horse and buggy. Diane Mocha, Business First AM. Our thanks to Diane for her report. Bertha Benz wasn't the only name to be overlooked. Chicago native Margaret Wilcox invented a car heating system in 1893, and Mary Anderson received a patent for windshield wipers in 1903. And today, Mary Barra has served as CEO of General Motors since 2014. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.